Hey everybody, today we will we will be talking about alkenes. So for today, I will be covering four main topics of alkenes and I might do a second video to continue because alkenes is actually quite big. So first of all, I will do a little introduction on alkenes and after that, I will go to the molecular formula versus its structural formula. After that, I will teach you how to draw isomers and lastly, I will teach you the nomenclature of alkenes which basically means a naming of different alkanes, alright? So, let's get started. So, the most important question is, what are alkanes? Now, alkanes are basically saturated hydrocarbons. These are two very, very big, important main words. Saturated hydrocarbons. What are saturated means? Saturated means all single bonds, alright? 100% single bond and hydrocarbons means that the molecule must be made up of hydrogen and carbon 100% hydrogen 100% carbon I mean 100% mixture of hydrogen and carbon so what are alkanes? three things 100% single bonds no double bonds or triple bonds at all number two it must be composed of hydrogen and carbons only no other elements at all so let's take a look at the first molecule over here. Firstly, are, is this molecule saturated? Which means, does the molecule, yeah, I mean, is the molecule made up of 100% single bonds? Oh my god, nope. It has a double bond between the carbon, so nope. It, it, is this molecule a hydrocarbon? Yes, it's made up of carbon, carbon, and hydrogen only. No oxygen, no nitrogen, no nothing else. Carbon, hydrogen, yes, it is hydrocarbon, but it's not an alkane because it's not saturated. Let's look at the second molecule over here. Is it an alkane? Let's find out. So, is it saturated? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, all of this, I mean, all of the bonds between the carbon and hydrogen, all single bonds. Very good. Is it a hydrocarbon? Hmm, let's see. All carbon, all hydrogen. Is there any other atoms? Nope. So, yes, this is an alkene. Let's look at the third molecule over here. Is it 100% single bonds? Oh, 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 nope. It has a double bond between the terminal carbon and the oxygen, so it's out. Is it a hydrocarbon? Nope, it has an oxygen here, so it's not a hydrocarbon, it's not saturated. So basically, you just need to know alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. 100% single bonds, 100% composed of hydrogen and carbon. Alright? So the general formula of alkanes is this, CNH2N plus 2. Let's put a formula into action. Now, for example, I want my carbon to be 1. We only have one carbon, so let's make N equals to 1. When N equals to 1, C1H is 2N, 2 plus 2, 4. If your carbon is 1, you don't need to write 1, just C, uh oh, C, H4 will do. And to draw this, 1C and 4 hydrogen surrounding this carbon. Awesome, right? Now, I'm going to teach you a trick. It's, it's not really a trick, but this is a principle of chemistry that will get you 5 if you, if you master this. You just need to know for every carbon, every carbon has only only four bonds so let's look at this it it has one two three four every carbon only four bonds this applies to basically all of the carbon that you will learn except there there are some exceptions but basically at your stage you just need to know that every carbon has only four bonds Let's erase this and let's try another example. Alright, let's try, um, maybe I want my N to be 3. So I have 3 carbons. So C, 3, H, 2 times 3, 6, 6 plus 2, 8. C, 3, H, 8. Now I'll draw the um, structural formula. So 3 carbons, all single bonds, and then each carbon must have 4 bonds. So we have 
this carbon is bonded to three hydrogen. This is two hydrogen, and the last carbon that I'm drawing on is three hydrogen. So let's count C three H eight. Am I right? One, two, three. Yes, C three. I'm right. H eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I'm right. So it is C three H eight. So this general formula you need to know. And you also need to know that every carbon has only four bonds. Am I right? One, two, three, four. Four bonds. One, two, three, four. Four bonds. One, two, three, four. Four bonds. So this is something which is true and you really, really need to know what it is. Alright? So let's look at two, uh, these two molecules. We have butane and isobutane. Now, um, let's look at the previous slide. Basically, what I... I this thing that I wrote here is basically its molecular formula. Okay, this is molecular formula. Molecular formula is basically only composed of alphabets and numbers. But this one is called the structural formula. Structural formula. It has your carbon, I mean it has your um, atoms plus it shows your bonding. Alright, so molecular formula is only sufficient to tell you the composition of your molecule but structural formula is good because it tells you the bonding pattern in the molecule. So let's look at this. What kind of formula is this? It's structural formula, okay? Because it has all this and it teaches you the bonding pattern. So right now let's write the uh, molecular formula for this. So let's count how many carbons are there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. C, 4. Let's count the hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. C, 4, H, 10. Let's do the same thing for isobutane. So now let's count the carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 4. Let's count the hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow! Both of them have the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. So this is your molecular formula. Alright. And this is a structural formula on the right hand side. So, now I want to teach you this thing called isomers. Isomers are basically compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So, these two, yes, they have the same molecular formula, but no, they have different structural formulas. So, these compounds are called isomers of each other. So, both of these compounds are isomers. Butane is an isomer for isobutane and vice versa. So both of these are structural isomers. So to draw structural isomers, so for example from um, okay, from butane I want to get to isobutane. How do I do it? So we have two methods. First method is substituent adding. Basically means we add sub substituents. Second method is called cycloalkanes transformation. Now for this second method, you please, please, please consult your teacher whether this me method is acceptable. Just uh, you go to him or her. You don't just say, um, teacher, can I use cycloalkane transformation to build isomers? No. Tell her what it is and tell her how you do it. If she say, or if she or he says it's okay, then very well, go ahead then. Alright, because I know of some schools that doesn't allow this method, which is weird because this is all chemistry. Alright, so let's cover the first method, substituent adding. Now, let's firstly let's practice our molecular formula. So how many carbons are there? Four carbons. How many hydrogen are there? Ten hydrogen atoms. So does this fit our uh, general formula? C N H two N plus two. Alright, C four H ten. Now if you um, let's say if I want to add substituent, substituent which means I add something onto something. It's kind of confusing here. Firstly, let's choose um, a, a part. La. So, for example, I choose this part as my substituent. 
S. So I'm going to draw the same chain without the part label as S. So I'll just draw C, C, C. Your three carbons without the carbon that you highlighted out. Alright, don't add the hydrogens yet. Next, you add your substituent, which means the carbon, this carbon that you highlighted just now to the middle carbon. So I add the carbon over here. Alright, and now I start adding the H. So how, how do I add the H? I mean, it's so confusing now. How do I add the H? Now, I just know I told you that every carbon has only four bonds. So basically, this carbon over here, we add this carbon already has one bond to the other carbon, so we just need, it needs three more bonds. So it bonds to hydrogen. This carbon already has three bonds, so you just need one more bond to hydrogen. And this carbon over here, it needs hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. And this carbon over here, it needs hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So this is one way substituent adding. So if you remember, it is the same thing as here. Butane, isobutane. Isn't it the same technique I'm teaching you? This, this right here is butane. And this right here is isobutane. Cool, right? The next method is cycloalkanes transformation. Now you look at in the picture of the, on the right. I have different type of cycloalkanes over here. I have cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, cyclohexane. Now, Let's look at this molecule over here. It has three carbon. So this three carbon is just like cyclopropane. This three carbon, I can bend it to become tri a triangle. So this carbon right here, I can make it like that. All right? It's the same thing. And now I will add a hydrogen. So every carbon only has four bonds. So this top carbon on top, just need to add two hydrogen, two hydrogen. Two hydrogen, two hydrogen. There you go. All right. You have your cycloalkane. So this is also another a way to write, uh, as in to draw your structural isomers. All right. Okay. Now let's look here. We have um all the alkanes that, that the least of alkanes can go endless but these are the main alkanes you need to know from your n equals to one until the n equals to eight so if you, you have your methane ethane propane butane pentane hexane heptane octane all right so you have to memorize this when i was in high school i memorized this until i go crazy you really really have to memorize all this i can teach you how to memorize the first four all right this Methane, ethane, eh? methane, ethane, propane, butane. I can teach you. It's basically kind of basic. You can make your own way to do it, but this can be monkeys. Eat. Peeled. Bananas. So your M, E, P, B. And for the rest... You have to memorize, or you can make your own way of memorizing and memorize the whole thing. As long as you get it into your head forever, not forever, just for your exams. And after that, if you want to pursue chemistry, you just need to memorize this as hard. So you can memorize monkeys, eat, peel, bananas, and then pentane, hexane, heptane, octane. If you're in high school, you can just memorize until octane. It, sh it should be sufficient. They won't test you uh, beyond octane. So I will say that once you stop at your octane, you're pretty safe and you're pretty pretty cool. You, you, you can't take the exam. Just kidding. My point is you just have to memorize this thing as much as possible. So the naming... Oh, I should use a different color. So the, this is basically the naming of your molecules and in chemistry we don't call it the name we call it the nomenclature all right the nomenclature we don't say the name so for example for here we don't say the name of this molecule is ethane we say the nomenclature of this molecule is ethane so it's basically the same thing but it's more scientific to say nomenclature all right 
Okay, so for more alkanes related topic, I will do another video, slightly advanced video to cover alkanes. And for this video, it's somewhat basic, but my main point is you have to memorize this. Practice a little bit of the structural isomers. Draw, draw one. I mean, you can take from this list from here onwards, propane onwards, and you can practice to draw your isomers. And then you can even inbox me. I mean, you take a picture of your structural isomers, you send me a message, and I will check it and I will just give you some comments. So, you, this is, I mean, my videos are very interactive. You can just send me a message and I will reply to you and I will just say whether you're right, whether you're wrong, are there improvements, some tips I can give you. So don't worry, just send the messages in and I will help you as much as I can, free of charge. Alright, I will reply usually within one day, fast replies. So I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you in my next video.